to the tutorial by the PC Gamers. I'm EJ Mac user here and I'm going to teach you how to make a music bot for TeamSpeak 3. The standard music bot that comes with the like, TeamSpeak as a plugin option that you can download from their site is not exactly ideal and it's not exactly secure. So I'm going to teach you how to make a music bot just using um, what's built into TeamSpeak. So the first thing I'm going to do is here we have a TeamSpeak 3 client and it's a shortcut on my desktop. I'm going to open this up I'm going to go in and I'm going to connect to my server. Connected. I'm going to go into my office just to make things simple. And now I'm going to show you how my music bot works. So basically, I just double click on this TeamSpeak 3 client again. As you can see, another TeamSpeak window is open. And I'll show you how to do this in a few seconds here. I'm going to go to Connect in the Connections tab. Here's the address, here's the nickname. I'll show you how to do these later. And I'll hit Connect. Now I can have my uh, program such as Foobar. And I'll grab my music client with my power over here and bring it down into my my channel and uh, I'll just for instance I'm just gonna play a song and as you can see I can hear it in the channel and if I bring other people in they can hear it as well um, this is simple because say that you're a user who doesn't want to listen to music you can simply right click on the music client and mute them rather than just muting one of your friends who's playing music so I'm gonna pause this music for right now and just keep food bar away okay so I'm going to go back to zero and I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I'm going to leave this TeamSpeak open for now because I'm going to need that really shortly. First thing I'm going to do is right click on your TeamSpeak uh, icon here and go to properties, go to shortcut, and then scroll all the way over to the right in the target tab right here. And right after, normally it should stop right after the quotation marks, but you want to put a space and type no single instance, all one word. I'll have that in the description and just hit OK or apply whatever just close that out then now double click on this this will allow you to bring up a second TeamSpeak now I, I'm gonna keep referring to this as your music bot TeamSpeak so this right here is your music bot TeamSpeak you're gonna go into settings options and now since I already have all this created it's obviously right here I'm just gonna recreate everything and I'm gonna call this music bot tutorial so the first thing I want to do is go into the playback on the left side here go to plus down here I'm going to call this Music Bot Tutorial. Hit OK. Now I have a new new um, profile here is what they're called. I'm going to keep this automatically use best mode. Playback device is going to be automatically whatever you, you have as your headset or your speakers or whatever you, whatever you choose to do with that. Now as you can see here in my music settings before which I use for my bot, I have this set all the way to zero. This keeps your music bot from every time someone joins the channel it keeps the music bot itself from saying users join your channel which will play to everyone in the whole channel so to keep that from happening we want to keep all these down to zero zero or minus forty as they are over here on the right now this none of this really matters because what it's saying is in the headset it hears it converts it from mono to stereo which is in the headset which we have these turned down so you will not hear that at all anyway so now we want to go over here to capture or apply these settings first, sorry. Capture, create a new profile, call this music bot tutorial. Hit OK. Go over here to capture mode, automatically use best mode it is selected. Capture device default. This should be set to line one, which is your virtual audio cable. Whatever line you have, that's what it should be set to. Now I already said previously that you need to have virtual audio cable installed, so please make sure that I was assuming you already had that installed, which I'll have more about that in the description. Um, voice activation detection, you want to leave that on, surprisingly, and keep this all the way down to, like, minus 50. Basically, it's just keeping your bot from transmitting when it doesn't have any sound to play. I like to turn these on. I'm not sure if they actually do that much, but I always keep them on. I hit apply in the bottom corner here. So my music bot tutorial is all set up. Now I want to go to... Hit OK here. Go up to settings. Go to identities. And then I already have a music one created, but I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna call this music. Oops. Music bot as the nickname and the identity. I want this to be called music bot tutorial. Now it's just dinging because once I get to music, it thinks that I'm just gonna hit enter, but I'm not. So just sorry about that. Um, music bot tutorial. I hit OK. Nickname music bot. Fanatic nickname. Um, whatever. Uh, you can improve that later if you want. As you can see, mine are kind of high. Um, but then you just hit OK. Now you have the new identity. So we're going to come up here to connections, hit connect. 
Now the address you want to connect to is right here. The nickname you want to connect as is right here. And now the identity you want to choose is the music bot tutorial, capture profile, music bot tutorial, playback profile, music bot tutorial, and hit connect. And now it'll connect as a music bot, which I'm going to move it into my office to make things simple so you can hear. Now, channel. some people may be like, okay, so it's not working yet. Um, I'm playing mine on my FooBar or my media player or whatever. But with FooBar, I'll keep it simple. You just go to Preferences, go to Device, which is if you have this all closed out like normal, go to Playback, Output, Device, and you set Line 1 Audio Cable. That way, when it outputs, it outputs in the music bot. So it's basically like directly feeding a virtual cable right in to your your music bot. And it's simple. You can control everything from there then. Um, yeah, it's basically it. You can just control it like that. Um, it can have special rights in your server. On our server, we have a nice music channel, which we give everyone party speaker except the music. So when people talk, it just you can talk over the music without having to like yell and that kind of thing. All right, so I hope you like my tutorial. hope you find it useful. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, see you later.